We're here, Acting Grand Sage Al Haytham. What's our next course of action? Hmm. Acting Grand Sage Al Haytham? Looks like you haven't read any memos lately. The new Academia Decree clearly states that even a sage doesn't have the authority to interfere with the Matra's actions during an ongoing investigation. If your superior were here, he wouldn't be asking me what to do. Instead, he'd be telling me to stay out of the way. You're right. Understood. Then please wait here as we lock down the perimeter and search for suspicious persons. Ilyas, please stay here. Acting Grand Sage Al Haytham, I'll have to trouble you with the protection of our primary witness. <sighs> sure. Though I'd rather he just protect himself. Answering a simplistic question only enables the questioner. Besides, I need him to understand my position clearly. Arav has just as many doubts about my coming along as you do. But unlike you two, he's making this matter more complicated than it is, with his considerations like the acting Grand Sage is trying to seize the Matra's powers. That question was obviously bait. The Matra were once under the influence of the Sages, and so were often subject to these bureaucratic traps. The test was strictly unnecessary, though. I hope that our exchange will assure him that I won't interfere with their work this time. Ugh, why is this so complicated? This is why I was against becoming the Acting Grand Sage from the very first. Titles and rank inevitably make a lot of things more troublesome than usual. Excuse me, Acting Grand Sage Al Haytham. I've had a question on my mind, and I need to know the answer no matter what. Have we met before? No. I have no recollection of ever meeting you. Ha <laughs> ha! I thought so too. <clears throat> I probably wouldn't have had anything to do with someone of your caliber. Then why did you ask? Well, for some reason I felt a sense of... Familiarity when I met you for the first time. Really? A misperception, perhaps. Or... Acting Grand Sage Al Haytham, we've apprehended a suspect. Siraj? No, it's the Kasharawa researcher who has dealings with him. His name is Narendra. S Acting Sage Al Haytham. Wait, uh, can someone please explain what's going on? I admit that I, I did steal some mechanical components from the lab and sell them, but does something like that really warrant the personal interest of the Acting Grand Sage? Wh what have I gotten myself into? I, I know I let Greg get the best of me, but, but, but please, I promise that this won't ever happen again. I would like to ask him a few questions. Of course. Do you know Suraj? Yeah, that's the name of my buyer. He asked to make the transaction at the tavern, but he never showed up. What were the details of this transaction? He's doing some kind of experiment that seems to require many power generators and electrical components that can only be found in our project. He contacted me in private and said that he'd pay a large sum of Mora if I was willing to put some aside for him, under the pretense of them being defective parts. We had originally agreed to meet at the tavern earlier today to do the trade. I sure didn't expect to get stood up, or run into you all. Perhaps Siraj was aware that Ilyas might leak information, so he intentionally didn't show up. Whatever the case, it seems that this lead ends here. The good news is, regardless of what Siraj was planning, his progress will now be severely hindered by a lack of power generators and electrical components. We still have time to conduct our investigation. Do you have any more questions for the suspect? No. He's all yours. But I'd like to borrow Ilyas for a while. Oh, that's fine. We conducted a comprehensive lie detection exam, which showed that he has a genuine case of amnesia. We're not planning to pursue any further breakthroughs on that front. However, I am curious. What do you need him for, exactly? 
I've read some papers regarding amnesia, and I'd like to try restoring his memories. I see. We'll be returning to the Academia, then. I'll leave Ilyas in your care. Follow me. Oh, hey, Thumb. Are you serious about seeing things through? Paimon's pretty surprised that you're this interested in the case. I thought you would have guessed the reason by now. Huh? Uh... Paimon has no clue. Hey, do you know? Yes. We were classmates. Oh, so that's why you asked to come along when Arav briefed you on the situation. So you're not here because you're interested in the case itself, but because you know the suspect? You couldn't be further from the truth, but... I wasn't expecting much from you to begin with. For the time being, all you need to know is that we were once classmates. I became the scribe afterwards while he continued his academic endeavors. He submitted a thesis one year ago, and the Grand Sage at the time asked for my opinion. I did not approve of it because it committed one of the six cardinal sins by touching upon human evolution. From violating matters regarding human evolution to attempting the forbidden and fearing none, the six cardinal sins are the origin of all evil in this world. They are also what the sages use as a reference when formulating or amending the rules of the academia. My opinion was that Suraj's research was both overly naive and in violation of various core principles. The Grand Sage took some of my suggestions on board and ultimately decided to reject the application. So that's why he's buying energy sources and electrical components. He's most likely trying to circumvent the rules and conduct his experiment in secret. That sounds super suspicious. Oh, we gotta stop him! Ilias, can you try to remember things again? Maybe something new will pop up. I'm sorry, but I've already tried many times. And no matter how hard I try, it feels like everything in my mind is shrouded in a thick mist. It is possible for a person to subconsciously forget some of their memories as a defense mechanism against extreme stress. However, these memories aren't truly lost, but merely sealed away. They can be restored with the appropriate stimulus. Now, try to recall things you care about. They don't need to be related to this case. Well, actually, I feel like I've forgotten more than just the memories of the time I was kidnapped and experimented on. The kind of person I am, the things I've done. I can remember some things, but I can't recall some others no matter how hard I try. But I do vaguely remember that there are two things that I have to do no matter what. Do tell. The first is to get my paycheck from the Academia and give it to my younger sister in Gondarvaville. I'm not sure about the details, but it seems that I would send money to my younger sister every month to pay for family expenses. And the second thing? What's the second thing? I can't remember. Sorry, there's just so much I can't recall. Not unexpected. However, you're the only one who has seen Siraj and knows the exact location of his cave at present. As such, we'll do everything we can to help you regain your memories. Losing your memories must be really painful. But don't you worry, we'll help you get them all back. Oh, thank you so much. This feeling, it's more than just pain. I don't know how to describe it. I have so few memories that I don't even have a clear idea of who I am. And my head's always ringing. It feels like I could faint at any moment. But amidst all that, it also feels like I've been set free somehow. Nevertheless, I have you all to thank for bringing me what clarity I do have right now. Now, I do remember that I worked part-time at a place in the academia called the Research Preparation Center. That's also where I got my monthly paycheck. I see. In that case, let's go and find whoever's in charge there. Thank 
you for complete. Add Astra.